So, you know, I have a twin brother and sister, and, uh, and that has been probably one of the most exciting things about, you know, finding my family. Because, and, and actually what originally triggered me to start looking, I had a roommate in medical school who, you know, her parents had separated and she'd been raised by her, her mom. And finally, she was about to get married, and she was like, Mom, where's Dad? I want Dad to walk me down the aisle. And she's like, well, here's his phone number. <laughs> he, lives on, he lives across town. And it turns out, he had remarried, had more kids, and she had met her siblings and just didn't know it. Because this was all in New Orleans. And so that's what actually spurred me. It's like, maybe I have a brother and sister. Turns out I have both. Um, so I have a half brother and half sister, and uh, you know, it, that's been a wonderful part of that life is getting to know them and going to their weddings and you know, and those sort of things. And uh, so it's a very very exciting thing to sort of have that sense. So now instead of one sister, you know, instead of one sibling, I have four. You know now, and uh, there's a great sense of that. Um, but perhaps perhaps the best thing of all though. I would say is the fact that, you know, my stepmom, who didn't know about me, you know, once she got over, she, she nearly beat my dad to death. <laughs> because he didn't tell her. And, but not for the reason you think. Because she's like, if he had told me, I would have come and found you, was what she said. I would have never let you. And so, to her, I am just one of her children, or as she likes to call me, I'm a child of her heart. And so, and don't tell me other mothers, but she's my favorite. <laughs>